pull up an amazing... Our next uh, fighter, please come to the cage, Itai Tratner. <laughs> Lightweight division up to 70 kilograms. In the blue corner, standing 173 centimeters tall, weighing in 70 kilos, point two, with a professional record of one win, no losses. This man is an MMA fighter. He's 23 years old, coming from Shonko, Azerbaijan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kirman Omaru. In the red corner, this guy is 22 years old, standing in 177.6 centimeters tall. Weighing in 68.4 kilograms, with a professional record of five wins, three losses, coming from Moshi Keidar team. This man is an MMA fighter coming from Moshav Hamid Israel. Ladies and gentlemen, they call him the farmer, Itai Tratne. The referee is Ofer Lidar. Locking down the doors of the cage. The referee is making sure that all the referees, the side referees are ready. Fighters are ready and we start. They're ready for each other, they're running touch gloves. And you can see, you can hear the crowd chanting Threatner's name. What an insight, what a kick. He's going down and he just decided not to go there. He's trying to trip him, he's trying to throw him like a judo throw, but Threatner doesn't care. What a You can see that Kimran is coming way pumped up and try to put him, make Trachner play his game, but Trachner does it's not willing to do that. Matai is working the low kicks, creating damage. Another one, that's a third one. It's going to slow down Kimran. It's going to slow him down for sure. 
trying to go for a throw. You could see that Trotter tried to take him down, and Kimran caught the, caught the cage, and the referee rushed over and told him. Now you can see that he's trying to block. It is interesting block. He's going for a bunny choke. He's going for a bunny choke, and if, it's not, if he doesn't know it, he's going to have to use his other hand to put over uh, Kimran's head in order to break it. And if you can see, Kimran is playing on his hand. Look at, uh, look at the tie space. He's taking a turn, which actually breaks the bunny choke. And he cannot, he cannot finish the bunny choke if he's not pulling something in it. Itai took his head out. He's tired. You can feel that. The bunny choke is in according to Itai Trotter's face. Well, Itai should uh, take his right hand and try to force over, um, uh, over Kim Ran's face. It's like uh, Amasa Pao in uh, Jiu Jitsu or cutting bread. Should punch him in the head. It's possible, but if you can see, he's locking down his, his right hand, which is the correct way to do that. But you can see that, if you can see that Itai Tratner's hand is outside, so he cannot play. And he got out in another way now. Whoa! Let's make sure he didn't pop his, his left hand. And what a suplex! What an amazing suplex! Whoa! That was brute force, pure power. And he's on a lock now. Rear naked choke! Rear neck choke. He's on the jaw. <laughs> he's like, it's just like a pit bull, he doesn't stop it now, he's pounding him. He's punishing him back for all body, for everything he did to him. You can see that he locked his triangle and he's using both his hands and he just doesn't That's care. Really he just had another, he tried to choke him again. He's going for the RNC. I'm not sure if he's inside or on the jaw, but he's doing it. He's on the jaw, isn't he? Yeah. It's not fun being on the jaw either. Not giving up. Now you can see that the tie is using the triangle. And when you close the triangle correctly, you're getting all the air outside of your opponent. He just cannot breathe. And the, the way that Kimran can still walk with no air is amazing. But Itai is just punishing him. And if you would look at Itai's left leg, he's just starting to slip. And I'm not sure he's, he's aware of that. You see, he's now he just corrected it. And he doesn't care. He's just getting in and punching again. What an upset. From a bunny choke. Now he's got the, the shoe is on the other foot, if I may. And he opened the triangle. Look at the legs. And what a kick from the from down. He keeps on chopping his, le his left leg. He should walk out, he's going for the groin. 10 seconds, he just needs to hold for 10 seconds. He, I guess he's going to have this round. He's going for a triangle! Wow. Ups and downs all over this round, ups and downs. Great first round on both fighters. Great first round. Itai is standing up. He's not taking the seat. Modern day gladiators. Right there.
And we're coming back to the fight. It was an amazing first round. It was, it, half of it went to Kimran, half of it went to Itai, and I wonder what the referees would call it. They're touching gloves and they're rolling. I think it's the first time that Kimran tried at a low kick, but, <laughs> but he answered quite, fur, quite quickly. You also do it, don't you? When you're getting kicked, you just retaliate with another kick of your own, don't you? No, two. Two kicks. <laughs> you pay him back. Kimran is trying to take Tertuna down and Tertuna just not willing to go down. Now he's, look at that, he just put his hand inside so we would not be able to sweep him. And Tertuna has both his hand inside. This guy, he's, he's, he's on top actually. Tertuna is the one who's managing, oh, that suplex! Wow! And he's, he's punishing him again to the face. What a punishment he's getting now. It's not, and Tratner just came to work today. Now look at him using his head and moving him around. And he's going again. Now he's going for a guillotine. So, but he's on the other side. Kimran is trying to climb and he's punching all over the place. Now, if you can see, Kimran has a, a lesser of a leverage than uh, Itai has. And he's moving around. And I, that, I'm not sure after he tried to take two times so far. Uh, of around and see if a rib naked choke, if that's the correct thing. And he's now flattening him over his belly and he's just punishing him. He's going to stop. He's going to stop any second. He has no protection. He has no protection and the referee should just stop it. He's going with the elbows. Well, you have to give it to Kimran, who doesn't stop, and he, he's still, although he didn't, wasn't able to put that, now he's going to the mount. He's got nothing coming back. The ref is going to stop it. That's it. Wow. What a fight. What a matchup.
uh, Moshe Kedar, Itai Tratmas, uh, coach. First of all, it was an amazing fight. And uh, you're the second fight that actually made it to the second round. How do you feel? He feels great. And uh, he was a tough guy. And uh, I think I want to thank this guy for the opportunity to fight him. And uh, we keep the religion out of the ring. I have another question. Uh, in the first round, it was same that you sat on him and started bursting punches over his head. Did you think it would be over by then? Or you felt that he, you didn't ma made it to the point? <laughs> He felt that, uh, you know, he, he felt his tough and he, he took his time. He knew he's not going, he's going to go for the second round, so I kept my energy for the second round. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it to Itai Tretman!